was budding since the rain started coming out again. So, the two leaves, one sprig is enough for whatever you are cooking. You don't need to buy them. So this is a good time. The rains are here. So put some oregano on the soil or in the soil. Put some thyme. They grow well. If you have been following me, you know I use them straight from my garden. You will see it. Okay, so but right now they are not there because the garden is starting anew. So let's pretend we have a thyme in here. We are going to allow it to cook. This thing is not regulating properly. Um, what we usually do is allow it cook in its own water. Once the meat has brought out its own water, um, you, before you add before you add enough water to make as much stock as you want till it's done. So, but because of time, and this thing is not regulating properly because it's supposed to be on medium low to bring out that water, I'll just add water quickly. Where's your pink stuff? Well, the pink thing. I don't think that. I don't know where I'm using it. Let me check here for you. I'm not sure. I Onion is cheaper here than lake you. Onion is cheaper here than you, right? Oh. Even the 400, we were even shouting. Camera, are you seeing this properly? The meat in the pot. So you can see that it already has um, some water coming out already. But like I said, because of time, you can see. If, if, I, if I cook um, on low, plenty water. Yeah, so but because of time. Now, um, what has been the biggest shocker for you? With this whole price thing in the market, but what has shocked you the most? Yeah, something that you went to buy. For me, it's rice. For me, it's rice. Oh, you noodles? Yes, noodles was a shocker yesterday. A carton of noodles was going for eleven thousand naira. Am I right? Yesterday, eleven thousand naira for a carton of noodles that we. The last time my my brain. Can remember it was like three, five, four thousand. The last time my brain can remember, remember three, five, yes. how did we get to eleven thousand? How? <laughs> you understand? Noodles. That's what kids eat. That's like what's on everybody's child's lunch box, like easily. And it's going for eleven thousand. How many is this at twenty-four, Abby? Forty. Oh, I thought forty. 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 So you do. Just and I bought quite surprise. a number and we have not finished it. So mm -hmm. imagine me now trying to... You can go to my... At Christmas, I bought rice for 63. At Christmas? Now they are telling me that it's 70 something. So it's okay, it depends on the rice, it's 95. 95? Yeah, yeah, so it depends on the brand. And this is what Nigerians eat on a day. Every day. Two weeks ago, I bought this. I mean, if you have kids, they do things like. No teller. <laughs> we carry the big jar. And when we were in and she screamed eleven thousand, ten thousand something. For I said drop it now. Because I know that I said if I was the one paying for that Nutella, they are not eating Nutella. It's very simple. We are going to cut How something. much is a bottle of cashew, please? So we can just blend it for them and 
I don't think it belongs to 11 k you know, can just blend the cashew for them, the kids that love I mean, it. So, it the chocolate. Put your bovita and yeah, you know, don't put it. Just, uh, <laughs> when you say blend the, uh, when you say the color of cashew yeah. nuts, you just yeah, add bad, bad, bad. one or two spoons yeah, or three. And I tell you, that I'm telling you, I don't say it's all brown. It's actually really bad. It's, it's so bad. Let me give you another sample. You know, the regular underarms, they spray. Yeah. Some of you used to buy for like 2000 and then like 4 5 For body odor, 4005. Someone say, like, say everybody go this way. And they tell you, because body where are we going? 4 5 4 5 for deodorant. And you cannot not. There are some things that you cannot not use. If to say you want to go and start using lime and charcoal to do sugar and cow, you better want to see lime tree. You better want to see lime tree. It's, it's, it's crazy. Please let's try and work on this uh, bread. Okay. I actually need a chopping board. constraint but we'll just manage so if we're if you're just joining us what we've talked about this whole bread stuff before is this kids love bread so but it's just flour water probably butter and sugar but we are cutting down costs so we can do flat breads we can do a bread from our house and you just go ahead and use them um, what's it called you go ahead and use a uh, one, one custard bucket, one paint bucket. Okay, okay, yeah, the same money you used to buy one loaf. Okay, we we'll buy that paint. one okay. paint bucket. And you have about 24, like someone told us, 24 cups oh, in it. Yeah. And this is just three cups that we have used for this. Now, after kneading, I'm going to divide. Space constraint. Now there's no yeast in this bread. You can do one with yeast and bake overnight, probably. But this is a no yeast thing going on here. I'm just I bought, you know, almost all those my things I use are in the office studio. We have six. <laughs> We're sharing. We're sharing, no? Yeah, that's six already. So even this uh, six, we can get two two from it. Add to down. Oh. Everything will not be equal because I'm um, eyeballing it and not using the base. Yeah, no measuring. So, but it's just for the sake of this. So for those just joining, what we have here, flour, baking soda, or if you have baking powder, vegetable oil, salt. just a little bit, salt and sugar. But like I said, I think I prefer my flat bread with just salt, no sugar, but because of your kids, you can decide to add sugar if they want to. Now you can also use your flour to do pancakes. You can use it for pancakes, you can use for crepes, you can use for steamed bread for those who do not have uh, oven. oven. You can steam your bread. Okay. Now this is where you can take a kneading pin, a rolling pin like this, and roll it out quickly for breakfast. 
So, but if you're a lazy mommy, I have <laughs> <laughs> secretary of the lazy mommy gang. Representing. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you're a lazy mommy, I've got um, a taco press mm. over there mm -hmm. to just okay. help our life. Yeah. So if if um, you buy these things now, they'll be expensive, kinda. So but thank God that we have bought them when we bought them. Mm -hmm. So you can allow this rest a bit, so, but no time right now, so we are just going to work with what we have. I, I, I placed two of this paper on this taco thing. What am I saying one? Two of this. So we are saying that we are supposed to give each person two two. So maybe I don't know. Is everybody seeing me? Camera? Are they seeing? I'm, I'm not sure. Instagram people are seeing me, and I don't know how to help. So, but let me just push this. Are they seeing it now? Um, Facebook offer. Yeah. Okay. So it's either you use the rolling pin, but we are lazy mommies today. And you're just going to put this on the taco press. Give me the other one. The reason I'm doing this is so that I don't wash. I won't stick and I don't get to wash. And just put that on top. And then press, 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 press. So instead of doing kick, 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 Yeah, so. Can you see? There you go. There you go. Ah, that's it. Absolutely. What time? What press? Lazy mommy one. No, no, no. Lazy mommy one. I'm working mommy zero. Zero. No. Just do your taco press. So. Nobody. Um. Okay. Maybe with this. Let me just turn this on. I don't like to cook. On generator. Uh, on generator, but can you please tell the people upstairs everywhere to turn off everything, even the heaters in the house, everything, so that we don't drag, we don't drag all the lights. Never money don't yet now. Okay, so because of um, space. Only the frying pan. Now, if you don't have, um, usually maybe a grill pan would be better, some kind of, I have this thing I bought from Azerbaijan, where you like um, turn it upside down. Two-sided. Two-sided, uh -huh. so you can just cook with the, with the heat. So, but a frying pan, a non-stick frying pan can always work. I asked for that um, garlic that time. You have me chop garlic. Yes. Now this is just a way to make your flatbread um, look and taste very amazing. Make sure this thing is working. Yeah. You can help me put the garlic in there. It's <laughs> waiting for this one to heat up. So if you can, please get a taco press. It will help you so much. I need to. I think I like it. Okay, looks like I've overpressed it now. It's not coming out. <laughs> oh. It's not it coming out. The, uh, what's it called? The, uh, it's not coming out. 
One person will eat my meat. Oh, I'm just see what's what here. Press it again. <laughs> so, but it should be flatter than this. It should be flatter than this. Flower, flower, right? Let's try Because we do with you know. I think so. But we don't have time. So the garlic, the garlic, the oil, so I'm adding some oil to the garlic. So this just gives us like garlic oil thing going around. Working out for you. Yeah. Let me try this one.
Uh, <laughs> no, it's going to be more than my, my fan. some sort of fruits for your kids for breakfast yeah so this orange this bowl here please can you let me raise it up so that you can see the bowl of oranges we bought for 700 naira that's expensive in our area i don't know how much they are selling it in your area yeah so but that's not what it used to be so but that's 700 naira and you can I think I know they use a um, cling film instead. I don't say to use this one, so probably cling film will work better. Yeah, now this is good. Are they seeing it? They are not seeing it. Are they seeing it now? Can you see it? So, this is what this is what flat bread usually look like so but if you still want to do this as far as it's cooked you are fine but this one is actually not cooked true mm. it's not cooked true so but the flatter it is the better it gets to cook true so if you give your child one of this it should be enough for breakfast really. It should be enough for breakfast. Yeah, that's a, so rather than buying one loaf of bread for 1,700 naira, you can buy one yeah. pail yeah. of flour. Yeah. Just add salt and uh, baking powder or sugar, whatever you are using, and oil. And one person eats this with egg or sauce, fish sauce, whatever you are providing, mm -hmm. tea, and they can go to school with it. Like a, it's a heavy breakfast. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So yes, you can use your rolling pin like she's doing. If you can see her, or, uh, you use this. You have only one. Yeah, you have only one. one. This watch. Yeah. So, but the thing is, uh, maybe the cling film will work better than that one. It's sticking. I don't know why it's sticking. So, but now look at this gorgeousness. With the garlic oil on it. Mm -hmm. Now you can, if you have more, where's my, where's my garlic chives? Where is my garlic chives? You know, you can mm -hmm. add that to it to give it more, you know, finesse. Give it more finesse. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the next one.
So guys, this this is our flatbread. This is our flatbread. You can say you can say this is just enough to feed one child yes. for school in the morning. You can serve with egg. You can serve with sauces. You add your fruit. Maybe you juice it or you just cut it and you are good to go for breakfast. And everything we have done here, it's not even. Where is um, Auntie? Calculate flour. Everything is down to three thousand eight hundred. Really, there's no tomatoes in this mix. We have carrots, we have chives, we have um, spring onions. So everything for a family of six is just about that three eight plus the eggs. It's not even up to. And if you still want to make the kind of bread that we buy outside, you don't have oven, you want to steam. I said there's a recipe on YouTube, Foodies and Spice, for my steamed bread. Just search for Foodies and Spice steamed bread. You'll find it there. And it's actually very good. Do you want to quickly check on this? So let's finish everything. Let's finish. Let's finish it. Yes, yes. At least to add some greens. Yeah, to add some greens. Okay. So for the sake of time, I think this three is enough. We have shown you. We have more. You can make as much as this should give us about twelve of this. Yeah, two per person. So three cups will give you about twelve of this and it, for me, yes. this one is enough for me. Yeah. It's enough for me, just one. So but from our cut and everything, two per person, at least till they get back from school. They can eat one, maybe put one in their lunch box. Mm -hmm. meat is not done we might just pretend that it's done so that we can go to the next thing here um, so now this is lunch um, I need you. let's clear up everything for breakfast so that we have space for lunch so you can choose to do swallow for lunch um, would you rather do swallow for lunch or Yes, yes, so. Dinner, yeah. something a bit light. light, something lighter. So we are doing swallow for lunch. Okay, so let's talk about our lunch today. Mm. Uh, Can you tell us what what do you think this 
breakfast and it's balanced. Can someone come and take a picture for me before we tear into it? But I, I hope everybody's seen it. These are Instagram people, right? Okay? So at least they can take maybe one in their lunch box. If they eat one at home, you can put the other one in their lunch box because we did like two two um, check from Facebook. Alright, so flatbread eggs and oranges please you can see that the the egg in itself is loaded with vegetables carrots spring onions a spoonful of pumpkin um if they need as well the orange is important for their vitamin c mm -hmm. yeah so that's what we have it um ladies do you want to cut into it and see the texture of the bread. texture of the bread and i really want everybody to see it as so this is this is the texture of the bread. So you can use what do you think? Yeah. Mm, that's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah. Very nice. Use it with the, the sauce. The sauce. It's really nice. Yes. Absolutely. Mm. Like if you if you love flatbread, this just grows. Um, yeah, the more you eat. Mm -hmm. If you eat this with fish sauce, you really really love that. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, Alright, so you guys can enjoy yourself. You got it. Whatever. I'm just trying to find it. Your kids might not even miss the regular bread that much. My uh, my son Jaden he really loves anything bread, mm -hmm. and this worked for him. So nice yes, so me and he likes I know that every other child that likes bread. <laughs> like he likes it. He selects it lots. Yeah. Okay. Is it picky? Jaden is very picky. He always waits for his brother. Try. Yeah. So once the brother says it's fine. Just wait for his brother. Alright, so this is lunch. We are agreeing that this is lunch, right? We eat heavier food for lunch and uh, thank you. And um, <coughs> we have Gary here. Um I don't know if everybody's seen it. Are they seeing it? So we have Gary here. How much is a pail of Gary, please? Is it half you, bought, you bought um, half paint for 1250 
Um, I don't know how much it is in your own area, but that's all we bought at Oshodi. One thousand two fifty for half pen. And is this the whole half pen? Yes, ma'am. For a family of six, is this Gary not too much for a bag? Depends. She's saying that in her, in her own family. <laughs> it won't be enough. But I think I think here in my house this is actually too much. Too much. This is actually too much for a family of six. But let's just say that they chop where we're from our um, house. Um, we have pumpkin leaves here. Um, how much did you buy this? Two hundred. Is it part of the other one we used? Yes, ma'am. Together, two hundred. 300. Together 300. So yes. we've used part of it for breakfast mm -hmm. as well. This is a uh, Uziza for 200 as well. If you want to use only Uziza or you want to use only um, the pumpkin, it's fine. If you want to mix so that the soup go plenty, mm -hmm. it's still okay. Now, I also brought garden eggs. I was looking for the purple ones, but they seem not to be around in the estate. So I found this one. This garden eggs, this um, one would go for about 200 naira. This four. Okay? Even if you have just three, for a family of six, yeah. it's okay. Because garden eggs are nutritious. Garden eggs are very nutritious. Um, it's also very tasty. So even if it's just garden eggs, we're fine. When I was a spinster, this used to be like my every evening meal. Once I come back from work, it's garden egg, smoked fish, palm oil, and I'm good to go. Salt and seasoning, I'm good to go. That's what I used to eat. And I was very fresh. <laughs> you understand? So but in case you don't want to eat garden eggs every day, um, we have other options for you. Now, if you buy your ugu for 200 or 300, you are still within budget. You buy your gari for 1,200, you are still within that um, 4,000 naira budget. Now, this is where I have pains. Mm. <laughs> this is your pains are valid. As in, this is where I have pains. This is panla fish. It's like the fish for the masses, mm. the masses of the masses. Yes, sir. Yeah? yeah, those are people who eat this panla fish. But now, it's what everybody eats because it's almost getting out of the hand of the masses. That's my pain. As small as this is, this is 500 naira. How will it appear in this soup that I want to cook today? Mm. Is what I don't understand. We are going to have a sense. You understand? <laughs> you just have a sense of, okay, I have it's, fish in my soup. There. How will it appear? This is 500 naira. <laughs> okay, so that's for that. Palm oil. This is like one milk cup. 300 naira for just one milk cup. Let's say you guys don't eat oil too much in your house. You probably use this maybe twice if you are just adding very little oil. Okay. I can't even talk. Come on, tell you don't play. Hundred naira. This hundred naira crayfish, and I can just see sharp. That sharp that they call and the dirty, dirty of the crayfish. I said pick a stock fish because I'm someone who believes in mix and match will make your soup. Sweet, I don't just go straight and say I'm cooking with just meat. No, let's just mix and match everything for flavor. How much did you buy these two stock fish, two pieces of stock fish? It's two, this is not two pieces. It's two pieces. It's like, why you say two pieces? I'm making it sound like no, two like flakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two yeah, flakes. That's more like it. Two flakes yeah. of stock fish. This 200. So, but we shall cook this soup because the family must eat. Yes, yes. Now, the reason I've done this mix and match is because flavor. Flavor is important. Mm -hmm. Even those people know they see big, big meat. Mm -hmm. Let them even see. Let them taste flavor. flavor. Yeah? Now, this is a four. It's a thickener. We have different types of thickeners in Nigeria. I bought a four. Why do we thicken soup? If the soup not plenty, you pour water. You thicken it, it will get body. <laughs> and for those of you watching me, what I've just said is it's just to give the soup body when you add plenty liquid. And in this situation right now, 
we have to be adding liquid and thicken it. We we thicken our eggs too. Uh, no, we water the whole eggs. Hey, well, in the real sense, yeah. what we're trying to do was well, to give it body in our hands. Yes. Uh -huh. Alright, so this is something we call Ibera, where I come from. I planted this. Remember when my my getsman uprooted? Aha, uh -huh, this was what he uprooted. So I did plant again that year, but the ones remaining on the ground we were able to get this. This is also a tikna and it's got very wonderful taste. Aroma, a hundred. We call it Iberra, where I come from. I don't know if you guys know it. You can write the name in the comment section. Um, someone uh, most told me that even the leaves, when I put the video on my page, they said they, they eat the leaves as well. And I believe anything that you can actually eat the roots, the leaves are edible, okay? So this, I kept them for planting. I'm replanting this year. Okay. But all you need to do is, it's just like coco yam. Mm. Yeah, but it's far tastier than coco yam. Aroma, fantastic. You boil it, you peel it, blend, and use it to thicken your soap. Uh -huh. Okay, so like I said, plant. You can plant this outside. It doesn't need supervision. Just throw it there and it keeps going. You can even see that one is already growing from there. Yeah, so those are things you can use to take in. Other things you can use to take in. Gary, you can take in your soup with gari. You can take it with yam. You can take it with oats. Please, you guys should start writing them down so that people who are watching can know the things they can take in with. That said, um, I already blended the offo with crayfish. I'm going to divide my meat. This is actually hard to break here. <laughs> Dividing that meat. Let me wash it. Dividing this meat. How many pieces? One is five, one is six. <laughs> it's not even equal. It's not equal. <laughs> so two children, we have to share one meat. So let's put five here. This is this is sad though. I'm not even lying. This is sad. So when eating the meat, just so you are not eating meat because it's meat, you are just using it to make your your soup tasty, so to say. Also, not to forget the taste of meat. Mm. <laughs> not to forget the taste of meat, yes, right? Because the way we are going, if you start cutting and cutting and cutting, okay, don't eat meat. Don't let's do only this one. Mm. Let's still remain job. now. Yes. This as it may, you still get some nutrients from it. Yeah, that's what we're saying now. You don't forget the taste of meat now. <laughs> As you are getting used to it, you have to taste it. Mm. It's very sad. Okay. This pot is deep. So I don't know, maybe I should move here because this is a flatter pot for everybody to see. Oh, that's hot. Thank you. So let me work with this so everybody can see clearly. How is YouTube doing? Very well. Okay, so I move here. It's flat. So this will be enough for. A family of six. We should add more water. <laughs> I used to have um. an auntie. You see my auntie? To say, pour water. Water yes. not this. Yes. Pour water. Maybe <laughs> 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 pour water. Pour water. Pour water. Maybe for rich six people. That means it's breaking my heart. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Mm -hmm. um, my stockfish. Where's my two flakes of stockfish? Yeah. Very important <laughs> that you say that we. Mm. That people are not thinking they are going to buy ah. two pieces for real. That's two flakes, so. 
It's just for the taste. I'm not joking. See, it's two flakes. <laughs> it's That's why I correct it's it. It's two flakes. Wow. Stop fish. I'm not joking. And it's 200 naira. So that means one flake, 100. <laughs> If the prices are different where you, where you live in, in Nigeria, please let us know in the comment section. Maybe we're still enjoying Yeah, it. probably, or maybe it's even worse here. Yeah, let us know. Mm -hmm. How much would you buy, or would they sell these two flakes of stockfish stock where you live in, in Nigeria here? This we got for 200 naira. Mm -hmm. So, or we'll add it. Go flavor. For flavor, <laughs> it's just for flavor. Because if meat not they make flavor day. Uh -huh. Now, this is fish. This is not the time we are talking about snail or periwinkle and the rest. Too. Not now. This is just some survival mode. <laughs> survival mode right now. Yeah, <laughs> well, maybe I should just leave this one for the evening food. Let's leave it for evening food. Meanwhile, eat your man. Um, this is rice. This is supposed to be evening food. So measure six cups for a family of six, and help me boil it that way. Can just clear things because of time. So we are doing rice for evening. Okay. Okay. So my offer is there. Um, now, if you are doing the garden egg soup, you can do all of those things and just blend the garden egg and add to it without the thickener. The garden egg will thicken. Okay. You understand? The garden egg will thicken, so you don't need to use extra thickener. So when you add the garden egg, you can maybe garnish with um, the scent leaves or uziza or you garnish with pumpkin leaves and like I said, some of the things you can pick for 200, 100. But if you plant, you don't need to buy. Mm -hmm. Even the garden egg, you can plant. The leaves of the garden egg, you can eat as well. So you don't need to buy if you plant them. Also, if you are friends with someone who plants, you are not quarreling with your neighbor, you can just pick a handful for your lunch or dinner. Okay, it's not like they will say, come and pluck. You now pluck everything, no. You just pluck the one that you need. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So here, I just blended your four and the crayfish together. Or four is a thickener. If you cannot buy your four that you have gari, this same gari you are using to make a bag. You just take a handful, put it in your soup. Um, there's a soup called the whole soup. The base is actually curry. Like I said, it's been a long time I saw things like this, but this is reality now. I have a feeling I should add water. Mm. <laughs> because anyhow it goes, even if it becomes too light, you can always stick it back with your gary okay. or anything you have. 
Mm. You can always take it. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna allow that boil, allow the ofo melt, the oil, everything. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing we want to start doing is garnishing with uh, vegetables. So you can put your pumpkin, you can put your Caesar, whatever, whatever you have. I'm gonna let that melt in there. It's usually better to blend it together with the oil, mm -hmm. so it melts, melts together. Is this um segrip twin? Yes, so I'm using yellow pepper for this. You can use any color of pepper you want. So I'm just going to blend it. You guys might not see me blending. Is there any questions? Ask so that see me and Esther will answer. Lie on me. about six and a half cups. Bread. Yeah, if they go on strike, what happens now? We will not get bread. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Ah. Don't know, know what, what, I don't know what will happen. Friends today, that you just clinched the bread, so that they'll be making bread for you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> or maybe this is the time for everybody to go and start learning how to make bread. That's why we have the flat bread. You know, or, we already learned something yeah. today. Yes. Actually. Yes. So you just use your pans, use yeast. Like Bake it overnight and your kids are just not yeah. very receptive so you know so like, you see I would have done that value. Mm -hmm. I would have done um, there was something else. Was it spring onion? Spring onion with chives, yeah. Well, they probably they're like testing it. it. You don't even feel it. Just like yeah, it. Yeah, the flavor. I know. So you don't like garlic? For me. I'm not a fan. Really, I love garlic. I love garlic. I'm a fan of garlic. I want extra. See, with food, I'm very so busy. Okay, so in case you are just joining, this is our Surviving Shege Banza series. Mm -hmm. And we are showing you three recipes, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, that you can do below 4,000 Naira or within 4,000 Naira for a family of six. Um, they should check. For a family that's called Miracle. And um, what, sorry, distraction. Lights just went off again. 
Yeah, so for breakfast, we have done flatbread and eggs. And I think we scaled even within 3,000 Naira for that breakfast for a family of six. It wasn't, um, it wasn't up to 4,000 Naira. And we'll do all the calculations later, but for breakfast, it's not up to 4,000 Naira. We are doing lunch now, which is um, Eba and soup. I really don't want to give this soup a name because you can you can work it anyhow you want. We are adding pop king, we are adding uziza. You can add set leaves. You can decide to remove the thickener and use garden egg to thicken. Anything at all you want. The most important thing is that you're going to have oil in it, that's important. You're going to have some bit of protein in it, which we have in very small pieces of meat and fish. You're going to have some flavor. Um, we have used two flakes of uh, um, stock fish for that flavor. We're going to add salt and seasoning. We're going to add vegetables to make sure that everything is balanced. So that is what we are doing right now. Um, okay. Light has gone off, so this is not working again. Can I have my canister back? And let's just see inside by opening it. Split it. I want to use this um, tiny. Can you see? Yes, a bit. If you want to move, maybe do something. Uh, what can I get to them, you know? we can go. Um, call Miracle, let them collect Joseph's own. We'll replace it for him in the morning. Call Miracle. This one is to bubble. Of it that we are shooting. 
and we need backup. Why did we believe that they would keep life for us? Office, you will not tell me. Are you serious? Yeah, well, one of the office. Do you have any office? What do you need? Four. I'm telling you. Check if, if Joseph has replaced my phone. I've been running on that phone since yesterday. You have lights in I've had lights since yesterday. I've not seen lights since yesterday. So my phone is dead, so my followers will be alright. I'll update them with me. Can tell you yeah, are him. We'll replace it first thing in the morning. But Charles, when you were, when you were saying, Sorry. are you sure we're going to board? You did not say anything about we, you when we are shooting. Usually, you did not like, mention. No, it. I did not mention poor. But I said, really? oh, she does want to get to That's supposed to be people's job to remember. We always use backup. Back up or when you when last people see like that used to shoot from beginning to the end in the This is material. When last? This melted and it's looking very thick.
No, no, if you want to. Let's have it, let me fix it. Check if that one is cooking. I think that one is cooking faster than this one. This one is not regulating. because of time we cannot do it here so we are doing it behind for the rice we are making normal stew yeah. so how much did you buy these tomatoes including this so this is 500 naira tomatoes 500 naira tomatoes and the pepper 200 I bought one that I shared it. Oh, so this is including that 200 of yeah, that last time. 400. Aha! 400. 400. So, um, the one we use for, we use it for egg. egg and this one. So, this is tomatoes, 500, pepper, 400. We took like five pieces from it, so that's 900. And we are adding, let's say, two. Two bulbs of onions. The onions, we bought all of them for 400. So let's say two bulbs, let's say about 50 naira. So let's say 1000 naira, naira for that pepper. Come on, blend this. So that's just like normal stew. And this is the one that um, cooks, that we blend smoothly. What happened? Call again. Please, um, pour it. I will call him by myself. Go and pour it. I'm sweating. We have like three cookers cooking here. I'm sweating. Please go and pour it. Don't pour everything. Pour small. <laughs> Just the rice. Did we add too much? Was it even good so that this soup will the soup will last? I need to add more water. Mm. 
So, but we have our, our four all clumped up together and it shouldn't be like that. Usually, something that you have to do to make sure that does, that doesn't happen is to mix the all four with oil while doing it. So the thing is, if you have enough heat, you are suffering from cooking meat to a hala. If you have enough, that shouldn't be like for that to go on. It will heat it up and melt it. Heat it up and melt it. You can see. So you can probably just help yourself by breaking it by yourself. So as plenty as this soup is no meat. I can't even see it. How much is pomo these days? Though the clean pomo does not give anything, but at least if you add it to soup like this, it will still look good. Mm -hmm. Alright, so if you also have or have leaves, if you are not using any of these leaves that um, I'm using, I know not everybody leaves where they can find fresh or hard, that's why I did not choose or have. You can just cut your hair into this thickened soup. Yeah? So I'll just get everything. Is it too hot? I think hey. it won't be too hot. <laughs> it will be hot too. It won't be but too hot. It's just water. this. It's just this. It won't be too hot. Mm -hmm. It's definitely. And that is so thick. That's definitely. But what I realized is that sometimes when you pepper it, you don't even taste the food. That's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I removed. I removed four. I removed four. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I removed four. Mm -hmm. We are not. Alright, so let me season the soup. I'm still saying some crumped up or four. So to avoid this though, like I said, please melt your four in oil before you put it on fire. But if this happens, just use your spoon to break it. I can't do it. It's not because it was too much. No. It's just because you didn't melt it. I don't mm. melt it. Okay. All the time. And the heat, it melts better with heat. Oh, thank you. I was sweating. We explain to the owner later. All right. I'll put some salt. There was pork. Yes, it's still rising. I think your fall that we use is much. What we have done now, apart from meat and fish, mm. is just the thickener, the water, and maybe any other thing we are putting here with seasoning. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing. 
as in this particular base mm -hmm. you can add whatever vegetable you want yes. to add to it so we have a um, pumpkin here we have uziza here we have scent leaves behind you just choose it's just for you to create a ticking base and they add yeah which we have said your ticking base can be anything maybe this offer maybe gary maybe yam okay. coco yam i showed you the one from my village that we use maybe oats maybe semo mm -hmm. even semo tickings people already told me that they're ticking with potatoes so anything at all to ticking and you can see that it's rising the more i'm adding water it's thickening the more mm -hmm. I think I even added too much, and that offer is about 200 naira. That means I should have even used it for like two pots of soup. That's it. I've used it for two pots of soup. <laughs> so just a little bit of it, because it's, it's like, it's still very ticking, and I'm feeling it on that. So because of time, I can't wait for it to finish everything that it wants to do. Let's use Uziza. Okay. So this is Uziza leaves. Definitely feed a family of six and we will have we will have leftover. Now just the way I put this uzet uziza, you can put your oha leaves if you find oha. You can put your scent leaves if you find scent leaves. You can put your bitter leaf if you have bitter leaves. So it's not as I said, I'm not naming it anything. It can be anything, it can be your bitter leaf, it can be your oha, it can be your um, pumpkin. I'm even going to mix my uziza and pumpkin. And it's balanced. We have oil, we have the vegetables, we have mm -hmm. the protein, uh, B that is very tiny. We have crayfish in there. You have to split so. It's hot. So the only difference is that plenty meat when all day inside. That's the only difference. No, 
the rice is cooking behind there, I want to make a gari for a family of six. Where's the big glass bowl? That might not be enough for a family of six. Please let me watch this one. We blended the pepper. Yes, ma'am. For yeah, the that. rice. Yes, ma'am. I need us to use this pot again. So I'm going to transfer this soup to the other pot so that everybody can see. The other pot is deep. They might not say. Where is the other red pot? So guys, you all have seen this. We are about to turn it into another pot. But this is our pot of soup under 4,000 Naira. The soup is under 4,000 Naira. The meat is about 1,000 Naira in here. The fish is uh, 500 Naira. That's 1,500. The stock fish is 200 Naira just for two flakes. We've got pepper of about 300 Naira. No, 150. 150. Um, we use slightly above of onion to boil the meat. That's about maybe 50 naira to 30 naira. What else did we put here? The offo is 200 naira. Um, pumpkin leaves, crayfish 100 naira. Pumpkin leaves is um, about 200 to 300 naira, but we've used it for like two different soups. Then the uziza is 200 as well. Oops. Sorry. Now, if it wasn't ticking, this looks like more soup. We can see the fish and everything in it. My two flakes. My two flakes of. <laughs> My two flakes of stuffed fish. In that flat bread? Um, when you were yes, mixing. I did. Yes, I put water. About, um, let's say one cup. About one cup. Flat baking powder, sugar, salt, vegetable, oil. Yes. And water. Okay. 
for 1,200. Yeah. So I didn't finish it. This is about less than half of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's about less than half. So, but somebody whispered to me, say, for some poor house, only one person will even finish. Ah. Finish this one. So, <laughs> one person will finish them. <laughs> So I won't beg if you chop like that, you go you go reduce the eating room. You go reduce that more. Yeah. Okay, should we quickly plate this so that we can move to the Everybody should be eating yes. now. Just this. In your mind, I look you. They chop out this girl. Yes, ma'am. You chop yes. out like this. Yes. Uh, how this one is appetizer. This one is appetizer. I actually cannot eat more than this. So. Yes, I might not even finish. That's just yeah, can Daniel, can you finish this one? When it comes to swab, this one is no food. This one is no food. Mama, they make food, they food, they did. Mama, they make food, they did. Charles, how far you eat more than this? Like no, two no. of it. <laughs> you, you cannot finish two. This Jama, you will be gay. Ma, this is a finish. Mugola, Mugola. No, if it wasn't a bar, because Gary is like the cheapest thing right now. You can finish it like two, like two. Okay. Uh, you eat first, Mila. Can this? I'm not gonna reduce them. Things don't cost so. People should be going on diet. Okay, so let's say this is what we have. Uh, we have to turn the soup for everybody to see. You can see it's got body because of the thickness. That's what the thickener does. If I if I don't have thickener now, this soup. You know just that is in a plate. Yeah. It looks nice and you can see meat. Well, you can see more meat. Can, yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> It doesn't really look bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. So um, let Facebook people see it as well. Facebook, please. Can they see it? Check. So we have just one meat in there with some pieces of fish inside. Um, crayfish completely blended into it. Can they see? Yes. Yeah. And this is less than 4,000 naira. Less than 4,000 naira plus the gari. Uh, they need to say. So this is what we have for lunch, with one small meat, mm -hmm. pieces of fish, mm -hmm. and it crayfish works. blended oh. into it. Yeah. Uh, what of your? No, the stock fish is just for aroma. <laughs> it's just for aroma. <laughs> so you want to wash your hand and taste, mm -hmm. and let's know. Do you know it ever? I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get down. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. I cannot do a full one of it. Mm. 
You see this soup? It's, it has body. The soup has body. It's just very okay. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. very, very okay. The crunch is just there. It's still there from the vegetables. Yeah. Like very, very, very okay. So it's very fantastic. Very okay. Yes. So what you don't have in meat, you actually have in taste here. Mm -hmm. Just imagine the meat. Mm -hmm. So you don't be imagining meat. <laughs> I'm going up. There's a, there used to be a family, and they, they didn't have so much, and they do biscuit bones. So I don't know if people still do that these days. They always have biscuit bones in their soup. And of course, it gives them the desired protein. Nobody died, they are fine. Okay. Abi, plenty of calcium. Plenty of calcium. Now that soup is absolutely tasty, guys. Actually, I really like it. Absolutely tasty. You don't need all the meat and everything. If it's me, when I I was okay. Snail, bush meat, everything. Very we could be inside here, but to, to, to tell you the truth, you really don't need all of those things to be tasty. I'm telling you, this is absolutely tasty. Absolutely tasty. So we'll just go to the usual rice and stew that we know. And um
Facebook, you are watching on Instagram, please, this is the time I would like you to please put a comment there for me and let me know if you find this live useful in any way. Lie on me and Daniel will be reading out your comments right now if you find it useful, if you think it does make sense what I'm, I'm doing. Um, whatever you think about it, if you don't like it, still write it there that you are wasting your time, Gina. You can still write it there. Anything at all you want to write. I, I need this chopped. Oh, we do not remember to chop it. So you can you can still tell me whatever you feel about what I'm doing right now. Let me know. Then also I uh, remember I asked that if yeah. you blend. So you blend it too. So we have two bladed in here and one there. If we are with us from the beginning, you see that I showed the pack of onions we bought for about 400 naira. Oh, yeah. And it was, was the cheapest. That was the cheapest thing. It was like um, seven, a mix of medium and small bulbs of onions. So I feel like it's the cheapest thing so far. So please let me know in the comment section, YouTube, Instagram, um, Facebook, if you like to see this live again. It's so, it's not so easy to stream live everywhere. I have a full team here, like my, my guys are working on Saturday night, my team, just because we need to do this live and stream it like everywhere. I have borrowed my neighbor's foil right now. And we are hoping what happened to me. Well, so in the morning. It does not happen to me because um, someone forgot to buy backup well. Uh, I hardly buy foil because I run on solar. But because I have um, heavy lighting equipment here, it might just drag the solar. So that's why. Um, we have to turn it on. It's Okay, so we are good to go. I'm adding some garlic. We didn't add the, the price of the garlic. You turn it back. That's fine. So I've just added garlic so that it can infuse into that oil. Garlic and onion are a match made in heaven. You love that aroma. Now, we did not even add tomato paste to your money. Auntie. One sachet of small tomato paste is how much? 200. 200. So if you add it. So if you add it. If I add it. So that means for the stew, we overshot 4,000 naira. If we add the tomato paste to the stew, it's 4,200. Yeah, so, but we can take the money from breakfast money. You know, breakfast money was not up to. That. No, let's take the money from breakfast money. <laughs> Because breakfast money is not up to 3,500, so we can take the 200 naira from breakfast. But the, the thing that is not nice is that means to eat a very minimal, a very minimal meal in Nigeria, morning, afternoon, evening, you have to spend about 12,000 naira. And the minimum wage of an average Nigerian is 30,000 naira. That means your monthly 30,000 naira, you can only use it to eat for two and a half days. That's what it means. So what are you going to do to make up for the remaining 27 to 28 days left in a month? So that means we might not be eating three square meals again. That's what it's looking like. <laughs> or maybe everybody just drink gari yeah. in the afternoon, something. But this is just for, this, this meals I'm cooking is very basic. Like this is very basic. Nigerians must eat rice and stew. Mm -hmm. So that is why I, I decided to add rice. If I don't add rice now, it will look as if I'm not being fair. That's why I'm adding rice. 
those ones, if I say don't give us their great finish. <laughs> don't give us their great finish. All right. So, Auntie Esther is going to leave us now because she doesn't live in the estate. Thank you so much, Esther, for showing up. We appreciate you. Um, please, um, you can follow her on, let them know your handle. Zero Cakes and Events. Spell it for them. D E A. Can you type it in? R H O. Cakes and Events. Spell it again. D E A. R. Please help me follow her. D E A R H O. That's zero. Then cakes and events. One word. She oh, makes very yeah. beautiful cakes. She makes very beautiful cakes. Tasty ones. So please follow her. Please. And I also have Simi here. Simi is into kiddies. So she's known as Kudi Kiddies. Can you spell it? Let them. K U D D Y K I D D I E. That's the way they spell her for them. One word. No, she got it. I'm sure she did. Yeah. Did you get it? <laughs> K U D D Y K I D D I E S. One word. <coughs> Nothing will waste till everything must enter. You, you, you got it right? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. You're very Just welcome, nice Sister time. Esther. I appreciate, I appreciate you for coming. Thank you too for having me. Yeah. And I enjoyed this session. I'm definitely <laughs> going to practice the, the flat bread. The flat bread. I, I saw yes. you writing I'm everything. I'm definitely going to practice the flat bread yeah. because I like it. Yeah. And I especially like the part of that garlic. Yes, garlic. the garlic and the. Because I love garlic. Yeah, that one would definitely I love garlic, so make it uh, like it does. It doesn't because it, it leaves that um, regular, regular, that basic. By the time you just rub your oil and uh -huh. so, but you know where it gets better if you can actually swap the vegetable oil for butter okay. or ghee. Okay. Ghee is like clarified butter. Okay. It tastes better okay. yeah so but right now butter dead yeah <laughs> the last time went is day all right so i go buy butter it was like 5k yes. so right now i'm sure if i go buy that kind of butter why well, buy that time it would only reach like 15,000. Yeah. That's the, the, the one small in, president mm, president the the butter. Oh, me and uh, i look for you know they Madrid. arrange them and you could see prices so for the cheapest the brand. Cheapest brand what yeah. I do. Yeah. So I got the last one, as I last week, and I carried two, so that yeah. I'm quite good. How much did you buy? It was about three thousand four fifty. Fifty. Yeah. So I don't know. I've not bought some um, recently. I still have some in the fridge. So mm -hmm. um, I don't know how much now. So rather than um, using expensive butter, you can just use your vegetable oil or olive oil is also fantastic with olive oil. Okay. So, but this one is, is still good. It's That's fine. why you like yeah. it. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you so Bye. much, sis. Nice Love you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a safe journey. Let me know when you get home. Oh. All right. Thank you. Aha. Uh -huh. right. We still have some some carrot here. Now, carrot is something you can blend alongside with your tomatoes if you want. Or you can just chop it and um, add it to your rice, so it steams alongside your rice. So you, you want to do that and add it to the top of the rice. So that way you keep building nutrients into your food. And don't forget, like I said, your family must have some sort of fruit. So it, must, it might be fruit that is in season. Oranges seem to be like the cheapest thing that we got. Watermelons were quite expensive. Um, pineapples, so we got oranges. I give the kids, I have, I have like two, two um, compartments of oranges in the fridge. Yeah, so you have to give it to them every day just to balance up. Just to balance up. Where are we in this one? Now I'm trying to use up the oil we didn't use for the egg. This also allows the stew last longer when you have oil in it. For a family of six, this particular stew, you might have to use it twice. You won't yeah, finish it. Yeah. 
and it's about 4,250. Okay, any questions anywhere? Everybody has gone to sleep. They're watching. They're watching. Thank you guys for sticking with me. We actually did not start on time because of all the technical issues happening over there. Thank you so much for sticking with me, for being on this live. Um, I particularly love the flatbread and I think it will help families a lot if you start making your own flatbread. Yes, it is not like the normal bread that you will buy, but it will still do the same nutritional work in your body. And if you use the whole oil and garlic tin or season it somehow, it might even, or not my, it will taste better than your regular fluffy bread. And it's a taste I feel children love already. Yeah, it might not be like their pillowy bread, but they will love it. They will love it. And it's also filling. Mm -hmm. Because you see that one that you buy outside, maybe they add a lot of things inside to make it look very pillowy and fluffy and mm -hmm. all of that. This flat bread, just that small one like that, it's filling. Your child will be full and you know exactly what went into that flour. Mm -hmm. There is no extra chemical anywhere, there is no um, rising agent, wanting agent, no. It's just flour. Um, if you have milk, you can use your milk, but I use water, just the basic things. Salt, baking powder or baking soda to just give it a bit of that fluff. And um, what else did I put in there? Sugar, yeah. just to balance out the taste, but I prefer it um, strictly with salt. But just if you want to make it sweet, you can add some sugar, then the oil and garlic. And you have a fantastic... Um, bread mm -hmm. you can eat it with the fried eggs which we made as a sauce or uh, you can make maybe chicken sauce you can make uh, fish, fish sauce. sauce stew maybe this stew now that we are making for dinner in the morning they can eat it with the bread mm -hmm. yeah you can just boil egg and throw in it and they can eat the bread with the stew it works perfectly and if you cannot make tea or buy tea Oranges to, to the rescue. You can decide to juice it or they eat it with the pop. It's better with the pop. Gives them all the nutrients that that they need. So Sunia, have you got anything to talk about? You said? Yes, yes, I'm good. Let, let's pretend it's time. <laughs> let's pretend it's time though it's Italian seasoning. It works very well with any tomato based dish. But let's just pretend it's thyme or oregano that you planted in your garden. Uh, I'm thinking because of the generator, this heat is not working. Well, can you give me that one you use for boiling the water? So that we can. Yeah, throw it the rice. Thank you so much. Let's use the can this time, it might be faster. Is this the one you use for boiling? So I don't know if um, Instagram people will still see inside but we all have to burn it because we are taking so much time and it yes let's just point it out just point on top point on top it's better to clean it when it's hot Okay, we'll see what's remaining and how it can be used for the next day. We'll just talk about that. So, uh, I want to say it's not that bad, but the truth is, cooking with 12,000 naira for one day, morning, afternoon, and evening is bad. 
I like to say it's not that bad, but no, I don't agree. It's bad, it's not good. That is not how life is supposed to be. 12,000 naira for a day's meal is not it at all. Let me see. No questions yet, too? Yeah. All right, so what should we be testing about? Okay, I think maybe a good time for me to remind you about um, gardening. Yes, I'm taking gardening very seriously this year. I've been taking it serious for the past two years now or so, but this year I am doing more in my garden. What I've planted this year already is, I planted back my bitter leaf, it's growing already. I planted the native garden egg, it's growing. I planted spring onions. I also brought back some oregano from the office to plant there. It's blooming. I have um, miracle leaf. Yeah, so the miracle leaf is blooming. Um, what did I put on the ground? Popo! Yes, I planted popo. I put some popo seeds in the ground. Um, what else? I've just been taking things there. Any seed? Potatoes! I planted popo potatoes! Yes! <laughs> I'm not about to put purple potatoes outside. Um, that's outside my fence. So I'm praying and begging anybody. When my potato come out, people should not go and steal it. Though. Yeah, the reason I put it outside the fence is this. Um, the garden inside, it's, you know, it's kind of contained. And potatoes have a way of just filling up everywhere with their leaves. And uh, it would disturb the other plants. So I decided to plant it outside just by the fence so that at least it can creep all around there and give that place some sort of beauty at the same time rather than um, planting ornamental um, plants. So we can eat the potato leaves if push comes to show. It's very nutritious. Potato leaves are very nutritious. We can also eat the potatoes when they finally um, become strong enough to eat, yeah. So, but I'm just begging anybody passing by on the street when you see my potatoes, please leave it, leave it. Don't, don't come at night to harvest it when it's time. Please allow me to eat my potatoes in Jesus' name. I'm begging you ahead of time, yeah, because it's not, it's, it's in, it's outside. And some people always feel like when something is outside, it's for everybody. It's not for everybody. It's my potato. It's my potato, please, yeah. So what else did I put in the ground? Um, I put some rose seeds. Oh, my mind is just telling me that that one is a failed project. <laughs> so you're expecting rose? <laughs> yes, I actually was. Yes, telling me that it's a failed project, but um, well, some people grew it. Now. Yeah. So you never yeah. So you never your, know. Your, your fingers crossed. I, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. If it doesn't work, fine. So for the rose seeds are scattered there. I know I planted something again. I can't remember. But I've just been taking things there. There. I'm putting things on the ground. So once the rain comes now, everything starts blooming, and I start eating my things again. I, I saw something like tomatoes growing. Yeah. So hopefully. That's tomatoes, but if it's not, if it's weed, we pluck it out where we can identify it properly. So that one is hot now. Because of time, I'm going to open it so that I can dry on time. So that way, the steam. 
but really, what's the time now, guys? No, 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 that's... We have to finish. I'm sorry, it's because of this heat. I don't want to cook that way because the cameras cannot catch me on that cooker. Listen? I said you did a lot of cooking, so... Yeah. I was, I was actually thinking that I'll, I'll finish before I started like the right time. My, my cut-off time is supposed to be 9 o'clock. So... What are we adding in here? I know, the, the, the tomatoes need to be dried. Right. Yeah. That's Nigerian stew. Probably my, my Sierra Leonean friend. This is, this, at this them. point, is enough for them. So, but Nigeria, we have to make sure that the stew is dry. So, but the problem I'm having now is my heat is not that, you know, heavy. That, that um, cooker will do the job. Uh, but the cameras cannot see again. The cameras cannot get there. So, that's why I'm doing everything over here. So, but if, um, because of time, my team, they need to go home. Uh, I wouldn't want to put the meat in because, okay. except I put it without the, the water. Just to give you guys a feel of what it will look like. So I put it without the water. Okay. Well, when Nigerian stew gets to dry very well before you put your stock in it. So for this um, less than all, for this 4,250 stew, we have five pieces of tiny meat. That's all we have. And we have one panla fish. Uh, allow it to keep drying, but just for the sake of time. I'll add two seasoning cubes. I won't add any stock yet because I still need it to dry. Um, do we have curry just to pepper our neighbors so that our neighbor will think that more than 4,000 naira? Cooking that's... like 30,000 naira. Cut that all, please. Cut it. So our neighbor will think that we are cooking like 12,000 naira soup. Just add curry to it. I say in everywhere, aroma. Your neighbor will say, ah, this people still get money. <laughs> your enemies. Your enemies. They'll say, inside this tea, they see they chop food where they sing. Yeah, so just add your curry powder. You can buy sachet curry for about 15 naira, I guess, or 100. Depends. So this is just for the sake of time. If not, we are meant to give it some more time to dry up before we put the stock. So I won't put the stock at all. I'm not going to go plate the plate the rice. Um, I need this spoon. That's for the rice for the back. Carrot, the heat will just steam your carrot, and this is for the sake of having some extra nutrients in whatever you are eating. Now, something you can also do are they seeing it? If I if I put it this way, Instagram people will not see the rice. Let me check if Instagram people are saying it. 
That's seeing it clearly. Okay. So um, this should be enough for me, more than enough. Mm -hmm. Um, Timmy, what about you? A little too much, sir. A little too much. This, this is more than enough for me. Yeah. Uh, Jama, now you the chop fast. Oh, Come and check it. Oh, man. Come and check it. It's okay for me. Ah, he did lie. You don't want to chop off the whole of him. Don't even tell him. Don't even tell him. Don't even tell him. Yeah. So this is supposed to be basic. But so just in case we have like a full pot, let me bring the pot. I don't have. Okay. You too. Okay. So this pot would definitely be enough for a family of six, and it should still be remaining. Mm -hmm. And it's one and a half dairy car one and a half dairy car of um, rice. You can see, and we bought that one for 1,950, nine. almost 2,000 naira. So I didn't see any clearly there. So this pot of rice should be enough. And you can still have small left if you guys are not eating too much in that house. Okay? So that's one serving. And I think this is a basic standard setting. It should be enough. Um, now this stew is actually not ready, ready, but, but just because of time, I'll serve it with one meat. And I think that stew should be fine as well. Now, um, remember that I didn't put the stock because the stew is not really dried yet for stock to go in. So, uh, if the stew is dry, you can add stock and of course the stock will add more liquid to your stew. So this stew should serve a family of six for like two to three times depending on how you guys serve. Um, another thing that I wanted to do is with the vegetable. You can steam your vegetable by the side and garnish yeah, your, rice. Your, your rice. So for example, this is steamed vegetable. You can have it around like this. So forget about the meat. It's just one meat. But you see with this vegetable, you have your nutrient for the day. So you can always steam vegetable aside with some salt or without salt, whatever. Um, the reason why I don't like adding it to this stew is that it might just make this stew look somehow. So do it aside. On the side, you can steam it with onions and this is dinner. All right, guys. I think we've had a very beautiful day today. And I hope you did enjoy this live session. Thank you, Simi, for being here Welcome. with me to do this. It would have been very boring if I didn't have you. Only we'll just be talking, talking, talking. I'm a lot tired by now. So, guys, um, this is it in case you are doing screenshots or whatever you are doing. This is dinner. This is dinner. You've got carrots. You've got warm meat. You've got tomatoes. You've got um, pumpkin leaves by the side. Um, can they say it? Yeah. So, this is dinner. I've shown you lunch. I've shown you breakfast. breakfast and you eat a very healthy meal. But what does it cost? About 12,000 naira for a day. If we have to do for 4,000 naira per meal and for a family of six, it might look like it's, um, what's the word now? It might look like it's okay, but truly it's not okay because an average Nigerian, yeah. 12,000 times 30 days. And 31. Let's just use 30 days in case so. we need to eat some leftover. Okay. Or let's even do 29. 29. Who has, who has a calculator? I, 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 I didn't pass that. 12,000 times 20 days. Let's do 20 days. That's about 240,000. So that's like 240,000 for 
standard 20 feeding days. 20 days in Nigeria. That is in no way okay. It is not okay at all. So I don't know who's watching, but I'm trying to use this medium to plead with whoever is involved. Whatever is involved, it is not good. We shouldn't continue this way. I don't know whatever palliative, but I do not believe in the palliative of sharing money to people. Because How long are you going to share money? With How long? That is temporary solution. And we are a people of over 200 How million. How many people even get? Yeah, this? over 200 million people. How many people are you giving your cash palliative or rice palliative to? I heard they were sharing rice yesterday and you know some when when i keep hearing we are sharing grains we are sharing rice he just keeps giving me this vibe of pharaoh joseph and egypt and israel things that happen in ancient days yes i know that there are like soup kitchens in some countries they are like um what was it called food banks. food banks and all of that and people get some sort of palliative but it, it is not there are some people who are just registered to get those things and for me it's not even a thing of joy that you now have to go register and be collecting food when you can actually work get money and buy the food that you need so i feel these temporary solutions are not the solutions whatever needs to be done to get food in because food is like the barest minimum basic like the like the barest minimum that we can ask for We've been failed when it comes to security, we've been failed when it comes to a lot of things, but they shouldn't fail us when it comes to food. We need to eat. And um, ourselves as citizens, whatever we need to do, I've talked about planting a lot today. We need to plant, we need, no matter how small, the vegetables, you don't need to buy them if you can plant them in your gardens, if you can plant them around your compounds. Landlords, please, Allow your tenants because I know some landlords can be very petty. They are not using the sand. By the time you see somebody want to use the sand, you now remember that it's not part of what they paid for. Please, Madam Landlady, when that pepper grow, you too you can use from it. When the ugu grows, you too you can use from it. So I think everybody should just um, come together and find a way we all help each other. Plant in your back of bags, vegetables, peppers, paint buckets. Yam can grow in back of bags. I know it's not much. How many will come out? Potatoes grow a lot. Potatoes grow a lot. Yeah? So please put potatoes on the ground and allow it to grow. Let the rains help you. God bless you all so much. Um, I have been standing here right now for about three, four hours. My back is paining me. God bless you. And please do leave me beautiful messages that I can read later. Um, I don't know if I can read the one on Instagram. The, the messages usually don't appear, but the ones on Facebook, I can read them. And the one on YouTube, I can read them. So just tell me you love me for all I've done today. See me? God bless you. Yeah, Thank you all so you much. Too. And don't forget to like, follow, share my content when you get to see them. If you have not watched my videos, I have over 1,000 recipes on YouTube. YouTube foodies and spice. I have over a thousand recipes. So you're going to find recipes that are budget friendly. Just minus the meat, minus the snail, minus the bush meat. Yeah, minus the periwinkle. Just the basic. And you do the kind of things I did today. Okay? And you just stay within within budget. God bless you. I love you so much. And guys, thank you for being here with me. You guys need to go home now. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a wrap. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Simi. Children should be sleeping now. Yes. There is a more to holiday on Monday. Should I allow it to be post for 30 days? Yes.